Hello everyone, you're welcome to the platform again. And today in this lesson, I want to look at the poem we started. And that is the Great Lands of Africa. Today in this lesson, we want to look at the figures of sounds as we have in the poem. Let's get going and see what it looks like. Practical analysis of the poem itself and on the list, the first one we have is engagement. Possibly for the reason of complex subject matter dealt with in the poem, much attention is not paid to the lavishing, that is wasting time on the element of a rhythm other than the cases of run-on lines or you call it enjambments, alliteration, repetition, and parallelism. To start with, let's look at run-on lines or enjambments. What is meant by run-on lines is, or you call it enjambments, when you have the lines of the poem not ending when you start the first line, it doesn't end in that line. It continues or runs through the second line, the third line, and probably the fourth line before you have the end of the sentence. That is what is meant by enjambment. So another name for it is run-on lines. So the case of uh, run-on lines as we have in this poem, the lines of the poems are uh, run on or enjambment as some eight lines run into another lines to form a regular sentence. That is, the 52 lines of the poem run into one another to form seven regular sentences in this poem. The style in no small measure has emphasis, that is, the style of the poem is on emphasis on that particular perennial sovereign of African nations. This contributes to the understanding of the poem. Another one is the case of uh, alliteration. The following lines of the poem are alliterative. Line 16, we have in the dream soon undone in jingling line 17 of jailer's key number 19 victorious voice of lament line 26 decked with dances by baobab over 27 balances so these are the examples of alliteration now let's pick out what makes it uh, alliteration. In line 16, in the dream, soon undone in jingling, we have J at the beginning of that word jingling, of jailer's key. We have another JD. That is an instance of uh, alliteration. Another one, victorious voice of lament. Victorious voice. We have VV. That is another instance of alliteration. Decked with dances by Baobab over balances. Decked dances. We have D, D. By, we have B. Baobab, we have B. Over balances, another B. So these are the instances of uh, alliteration in the poem. Another one is, we are going to repetition. The poem's line 1 is repeated as in lines 8, 15, 22, 38, 48, and 52. Of course, the repetitions give the manifest that Africa and Africans' sufferings complained about by Agostino Neto are perennial, that is, they are long-term sufferings waiting for absolute surgical solutions by the people by the philosophers we have by the elites we have in africa 
for outright removal. That is, we are waiting for God's intervention through some elites that we have in Africa to take away the suffering. So it is by God's will. So those are the examples of uh, repetition in the poem, as I mentioned in the lines. Another one is parallelism. When we say parallelism, this has to do with the recurrence of the grammatical units in the lines of any poem. That is, in line one, you will have some set of words that will have the same grammatical unit as we have in another line or lines of the poem. Let's look at the instance of uh, this. Lines 42 to 45 of the poem run opposite are in parallelism. Let's look at them. In the strong desire of men, that is line, another one line. In the sincerity, another line. We have in the, in the, in the two sentences, I mean lines. In the pure and simple rightness of the stars, that is line 42 to 45. You will see that in these three lines, we have in the, in the, in the. That is what is meant by parallelism. Sometimes it could be uh, one or two parts of speech in the lines of the poem. So understand that in themselves, the parallelisms to complement the focus of the repetitive lines. The repetitions made in these lines are for emphasis. I hope this is clear. So this is how far we can go on the figures of sounds as we have in the poem, The Grief Lands of Africa. So don't forget to enable the bell for more videos to come, that is the notification of videos to come, and uh, also subscribe to the channel so that you'll be able to have access to more videos to come. And please don't forget to share this for many Nigerians, many African people that are also writing Wahek to benefit from. And help us as well share this on pages, groups, and some others. Thank you very much and remain safe.